I guess one half of the world has been cut off from India. <laughs> and so it's uh, definitely reduced the competition for a lot of startups building for certain spaces, particularly the content space, but also the gaming space too. And, um, you know, the markets evolved a lot in the last two, three years. People forget that. We certainly have, you know, practically unlimited 4G. People are using 15, 16 gigs of data a month. Smartphones have become pretty good. They can handle 40, 50 apps you know, on their phones, uh, effectively making the smartphone a super app itself. And so people are at home. They have time on their hands. They have unlimited data connections. And uh, they want to do stuff with their friends. And they want to kill time. And a lot of that comes down to, you know, passive consumption of content or active participation through games. And, um, you know, uh, coincidentally enough, those are two spaces that were targeted by Chinese companies. Yeah. And those two spaces open up in a big way because you have no competition from China now. And Indian companies actually have a chance to innovate in the space and, you know, on these uh, pools that exist of, uh, you know, time spent and users. And so I think it's a massive boom to the ecosystem. Um, mm -hmm. And it's because, you know, people forget that um, China itself is a quarter of economy. And China's internet economy is $3 trillion now in size, which is bigger than India's entire economy. And that happened because China closed off their market, gave time for the internet companies to grow and become big. And now they're sort of having an impact globally. And so, you know, personally, I welcome the move. I, I asked why not. Some, some may argue that aren't we going the China way? by restricting access uh, to technology, the restricting access from companies that are, you know, and we have Chinese investors always putting a lot of money into the Indian startup. What happened to that? I think, you know, that remains, but there are also more obstacles for Chinese capital to come in now. Um, you know, I think it takes a long for Chinese capital to come in, there are more approvals and so on and so forth. And your question about, are, are we going to China way? No, if you are going to China way, then the country will be fully cordoned off. <laughs> or still fully, you know, accessible to everybody else but China. And it seems like more of a national security thing more than anything else, which uh, happens to benefit the startup ecosystem. The Atma Nirbhar Bharat uh, mentality is also there now. And I think this is all coming together at the same time, um, which is a great thing for the ecosystem. And my, my point is, if you want to go that way, then let's go all the way. But there are startups that are also largely owned by uh, Chinese investors as well, right? Uh, at the end of the day, it means the same thing. I mean, they they are they are the major majority own in India. Then what happens to that? I mean, time will tell. It's a very good point. There are some very big companies, very big startups in this country that have very significant Chinese ownership. The big question is, what is the influence of the Chinese investors in that company? So I'm more worried about the kind of influence the Chinese company enjoy on the Indian tech startup scene. Yeah, look, I, mean, I think, like I mentioned, you know, I think if you look at the, the list of apps that were banned, collectively they had three, four hundred million users. Yeah. That's a pretty deep penetration. While the Western companies actually have much deeper penetration with all their products, the Chinese companies had a lot of uh, penetration in the Indian market too. Right. Um, so let's see, I think time will tell. I think, um, just look, for, for every, there's no perfect answer, perfect decision for everything there are pros and cons. I'm pretty sure the, the government's taking this, uh, this, this move with many things in consideration. The big one is national security, which has been fantastic. And second is the idea of building an Atma Nirbhar Bharat. And that's a pretty you know, welcomed initiative. Why not foster a local ecosystem of Indian companies? And not just across the internet space, but across all the spaces. And I think that mentality is growing in the country and there are people jumping on the opportunity when spaces open up. So I think it's a great thing for the ecosystem.